Minister, as an employer myself, I believe that we should work for the future. And I'm very, very lucky with, with the people that are employed with me, as I call them, the family. And I'm self-employed all my life. And I believe that working together, we create businesses together, we support each other's families. But from listening to businesses across the sectors, no matter what sector you're in at the moment, they're feeling the pinch. And the only place that are not feeling the pinch is the government coffers. We spoke about the VAT rate. And to simplify it for people on a VAT rate, so if you're paying 10 euros for a plate of food, and the VAT rate was being paid, the government's intake now, since the inflation went up, the cost went up, the, the VAT rate went back up, the government's intake also goes up. But it's the people that are going out every day trying to live are paying more. So they're earning more with the minimum wage increase, but it's costing them more to live. And what did the government do? They come on then again with something else on top of it. Now, every employee has to be protected, but also every business has to be protected so they can protect the employee. I've said it already. Since the increases came and inflation has come and the VAT rate has come up, we are now looking at four euros per plate for a function such as a wedding. We're looking at 70 cent extra for if somebody wanted a cup of coffee. That's what we're looking at, to make sure that it covers the costs. We now have down on top of this, where revenue now have come in on businesses that are already struggling with high ESP uh, costs, with high, higher PRSI costs when you're earning more, you pay more, so the employer is paying more again, and the pay person that, that earns more pays more. So now, that's going to, now we're looking at, an, with the VAT increase, and now we're looking on top of five, six days, six days. All of this has to be paid somewhere. So no matter what business you're in, you have to put it into your books of how you're going to pay for it. So if the business requires more to pay for, for their employees and their products and, and for their whole business, they've got to charge more. And the person that's after getting the minimum wage has to pay more. So in other words, their minimum wage is worth nothing to them. They've got no increase. In actual fact, they've got a decrease because of the cost of living. But the government's taxes are going up and up and up. And the millions then that they take in, they have no concept on small business. It's one thing for an international business to sustain a small increase. But for a small business in communities that are actually providing a service at a very small margin are being wiped out. And many of our children have gone through hospitality, local shops, and different businesses to put them through college locally, are being wiped out because of inflation costs. Why doesn't the government reduce the VAT rate like we've asked for 9%? And then look at businesses like international businesses and treat them on one sector. And then the SMEs in this country, two sectors of their turnover, then look at them based on their turnover, and then go back on based on the profits, have a look at it to see what profits are at, at, at end. Small businesses are on their knees. They're the same businesses that want to look after employees and their customers, but you're treating them like international businesses, like they can make big, massive money to pay, pay out. They can't. These are the same businesses that are in our areas that are putting food on our tables and our local shops and local restaurants. All of these are incurring massive costs, and they also have the energy costs cost down on top of it. Now, Minister, we looked at it. The World Rally Championship was to come, come to Ireland, and you waited to the last minute dot com to tell them they weren't getting the funding. That was an, in, an investment of five million from government to give to the hospitality sector and all the businesses across Ireland would have got 95 million in return each year. That's 300 million it would have brought in for a 15 million investment. He never looked at that, he dismissed it. And all the infrastructure would have been put in place for this and it would have brought in funds to help these same businesses that you're now trying to close down. How good is that? You're supposed to be working here for all communities, working class of all communities. But no, you're treating all business in this country like if they're a massive international business and you're closing down the businesses that voted for you.